This morning we are taking the Nairobi SGR to avoid but even though we took it before it wasn't first class this time we are taking it in second class it's very cheap apparently reliable let's see what is the passenger experience so we just bring our ticket through security now i need a coffee because i haven't had one yet so once you're upstairs there's actually two different waiting area there's yeah. a first class lounge which today we don't have access to to be honest it's the exact same thing it's, it's just, just like in an enclosed area but like all the restaurants are actually much closer and everything to the uh, the second class lounge so it's actually better yeah so i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit sad so everyone with the restaurants are like waiting for you at the top of the stairs <laughs> and there's like paul cafe maya something and something else and i love paul cafe's americana and i thought that's what i ordered and then I realized she was a Maya employee. So we're gonna see how this compares. I may end up back at Paul Cafe. Coffee review coming up. Coffee review is, it's okay. It's doable. I'll probably drink it. Somebody's drinking a Tusker. It's 6.44 in the morning, no okay. judging. So something very important to note when you're traveling on the SGR, there's a few things that you're not allowed to bring for some obscure reason, like anything that's like a aerosol, like you're not allowed, like a sunscreen, bug spray, uh, even like shaving cream. You can bring that on a plane, but apparently on a train, oh, that's no good. Um, also, alcohol is not allowed, even if it's sealed. Another thing that is weird because you're allowed to drink on the train, I understand that they want you to, they don't want you to bring your own alcohol and drink a lot, but, if it's sealed and you want to bring a bottle of wine to Mombasa, who am I to judge? 7.35, time to board because the train leaves at 8. All aboard. Tracy? All aboard. So we're heading to car number 12 and it should be all the way at the end. At 5. So let us give you an economy class slash second class seat tour. I Basically. mean, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. But that's um, what I expected first class versus this is like yeah. the first class seats obviously are bigger. They have more comfort. Yeah. Makes sense. Space is fine, but I'm glad that I know the person beside me because like if you sit, yeah. just sit normally, like, yeah, it's true. And we are well, <laughs> like we will have people in front of us too. So Hopefully we're going to make new friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe maybe they're gonna be subscribers, imagine. I don't know. <laughs> the seat configuration is a little bit different too. Um, on one side, which this is what we were the side we were hoping to get, it's actually twos and then on the other side it's three. So it adds in a lot more extra seats. So as you guys know, we traveled on the SGR to voice same destination uh, last year. Yeah, last yeah. year. Uh, but we did the first class, which is overall pretty yeah. nice. But this time we booked too late. So we are in economy class. So yeah. far, so good. But we're going to do a little comparison between economy and first class because on our way back to Nairobi, we're going to be at the front of the train. Just wanted to, if you're wondering if the price point is worth it, we'll let you know. This is only 700 Canadian shillings. Per person. So it's very cheap. And yeah. in the front, 2100. Yes. So it's three times more expensive. Yeah. Is it worth it? We'll find we shall out. see. So one thing that you do need to know about the train is it is punctual. Like we, it just turned eight o'clock and we're rolling out. So you have to be on time. There's no um, African time or Kenyan time on this. You have to be on time. So this is going to be a four hour journey um, from Nairobi to Boy. There's only four stops in between. And in the meantime, I guess we just have to sit back and relax. So we already saw some giraffes in the distance at Nairobi National. We just saw a bunch of zebras. And last time when we came through, when we were closer to Boy, we saw elephants as well. Fingers crossed the elephants are there waiting for us again. That's nice. They even have somebody like walking around with snacks. They have chips and drinks and sandwiches, muffin. Like, that's pretty nice. Well, let's face it, they wouldn't be complete without a bathroom tour. The bathroom is pretty much identical to what we've had last time in first class. So, sink, toilet, sink, toilet. <laughs> that's it. Welcome to Void.
Now we just gotta find our driver, but look at this view. Boy, it's beautiful. Found our truck, we are on our way to our camp. So we're gonna pick you back up when we go back home to Nairobi because then we'll be doing the first class and we'll give you some more notes between the two. Including comfort, service, prices, and everything you need to know. Just like that, back to the SGR. So we are back here at Void train station, heading back to Nairobi, but this time, first class, baby. Okay, so seat tour in first class. Um, a lot bigger, you have way more space, you can actually recline, you have a bigger tray table as well, and if you're on the window side, I'm not sure if every seat has this, but there is even a plug right here as well, so you can plug anything in that you need to. Um, lovely window. I got a little bit of one right here. <laughs> you literally have the only seat that doesn't have a full window. <laughs> Don't get seat uh, 1817. <laughs> They really need to change those speakers. As you can tell, the bathrooms are the exact same, except for that, I'm not sure what that is. Then the sink, the bathroom, that's it. So now that it's lunchtime, I want to get something to eat. So I get the bean stew palau with spinach. And chapati, of course. But we'll try a bite first without the chapati because I already know they're good. Not bad, not bad. I got the chicken stew. Chicken's a little dry, but flavor is good. Okay, here are a few points between economy class and first class. Um, one that you'll probably hear about is sometimes they say economy is hot. There is actually AC in both first class and economy, but the difference is, is you have less hot. people no, in first okay. class. Um, so because of that, I think the AC just doesn't have time to catch up. We've never taken it from Mombasa up, so where it's been sitting in the hot air, that could yeah, it's contribute probably much to being worse. But like coming from Nairobi to Voy, no Not issue. That bad. No. So in terms of food, even in economy class, you still have somebody like coming and offering snacks, but it's mainly like sandwiches, chips and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, where in first class, you do have access to like a, a dinner couch, basically, yeah. uh, like a mini restaurant where you can have like warm meals and things like that. They can also serve it to you um, at your seat. So I, I like food. Yeah. So then when it comes down to space, privacy, that type of thing. Um, so Tavoy is four hours. So if you want to have a snooze or something, I would recommend first class. Um, just because instead of having the seats facing, like you're looking at the other person, they're all facing one direction. Um, so a little bit more privacy and side point I forgot about is the bathrooms are the same. I did see yeah. online someone said like economy bathrooms are smaller. From our experience, they're same the thing. exact same size. Yeah, um, and the seats are just like wider in first class. The, the first class mm -hmm. setting is basically like similar to a plane. Yeah. 100% and lots more legroom. No nice. TV though. <laughs> so finally in terms of pricing, uh, Nairobi to Void costs 700 Canadian shillings in the back in second class mm -hmm. and 2130 in first class. So I personally think that it is worth the upgrade since it's like four hour long, but like we would never like not go on the train because there's not like no, any space in no, first no. class. And on that point is like the train is your perfect middle ground. Like it is gonna be your cheapest. Um, you're saving time by doing it versus like, I know flying is the shortest, but way more expensive obviously, yeah. but versus driving. So I, I wouldn't discount the train. Like no, I, no, to no. me, it's the train perfect. is a perfect option. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much our thoughts. Um, we will do the train more often because we now know that they have like a three o'clock train on yeah. Friday, which works out perfect for us. So you're going to see more Tsavo content. Maybe yeah. Mombasa content too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but until then, see you guys in the next one.